Hello, I thought I'd do another video. And this time I thought I'd do a video on Egyptian Revival jewellery. Um, i show a few pieces. They're not all um, antique and I haven't actually got that many pieces. And and it's um, mainly, I suppose some of it's unisex jewellery, but being a man I've only, um, only buy Egyptian Revival jewellery that I could actually wear. And mainly in jackets and things, such things. But um, yeah, he's probably one of my favourite pieces. Um, I would say it's 1920s. Um, bra, it's not gold, oh, it's brass, but gilded. And um, can't see it great in the in the um, video, but it's um, really well modelled and quite nice quality. This is uh, modern. Um, a tie pin. I do actually wear it in a tie. At a small ankh. That's um, um more gents wear. Let's show some. Actually, sorry, excuse me. I have to um spin around to my jackets. Um, there's a British military tunic badge. I believe they went on the collar. Um. I don't think it's a particular age, although they they were made for a long, for, for a, um, a since from the nineteenth century. But I think that is a modern example. But I, I like it in my jacket. And uh, I'm also on another jacket. There's um, this is actually um, period. It's nineteen twenties. That's not gold, but it's a, um, a brass. Uh, gilt brass a bar with a scarab on and the scarab has got hieroglyphics on the underneath so that's quite nice and pleased with that what I forgot there is there's another tie pin I'd like to show which is of interest sorry I wouldn't stand um, let's see another now this is really this is the only this is the only piece I've got in its original box, which is nice. Um, I think yeah, again most of the, most of the things I have I think are nineteen twenties, but I'm far from an expert. Now this is nice because this is actually a a, a genuine beetle. Now I should have wrote it down because I can't remember what actual beetle it is. They're called scarabs, but they're technically not scarabs, but they are um, they are actual real beetles, and sometimes they were made with um, when they mounted them they actually had um, the, the sp spread wings on like you'd see on the base of the sphinx you'd have that either side of the scarab I've seen on some examples which is nice uh, this hasn't got that but it's in lovely condition and um, yeah they are actually a little beetle I presume they're somehow lacquered but the colour that Saw a sort of um, iridescent green that you can't really see in the video because it's not very um, clear, but it has got that is actually natural to the beetle, um, and they were they were very popular with the Egyptian motifs, and um, yes, they do they do call them scarabs, and uh, yes, yeah, that is in its original box. That's that's rather nice. Now the last piece I'll show is um brand new actually had these made up in egypt went into one of the jeweler shops in egypt and um there was these scarabs on a tray brand new scarabs they are actually on gold but i thought it's really attractive and actually quite nicely done because they've got this the hieroglyphics on the on the reverse which is quite nice but what i thought would be really nice if i had cufflinks as those so i i asked the guy um, if that that was possible to make them into cufflinks, and um, yes, he made them into cufflinks. And um, I'll show you, I bought a pair of cufflinks, and that was the the end result. I'm really pleased with those. I have worn those. Um, and his jeweler's shop was situated um, underneath the um, Winter Palace um, in Luxor. So um, yeah, they're really nice. So you can get some really lovely pieces actually in Egypt um, so, so I think that's a I think that's all, all of the Egyptian um, revolver pieces of jewelry I've got at the moment but um, obviously I'll 
I'll um, keep looking. Thanks very much.